so I'm here. We're going to start in half guard today. We're going to start on top. So Riley's in half guard, and we're going to work on, I don't like this position. There's some submissions from here, but they're limited. I, it's not my favorite place to submit people from. So we're going to show a couple quick passes and one of the only fancy moves I ever show. Literally, I show three fancy moves in my whole curriculum over the course of the year. This is one of them. Congrats, you get to learn that. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to be here in half guard. I'm going to have a good wide base, sitting into my hips, active toes. One of the big mistakes I see a lot of people make is they'll sit flat footed. Realize the second you have to move, you have to get your toes in the mat to be able to do it. Just sit with your toes in the mat. That's what comes for you. Figure the fuck out. Now, once we're here, I want to control the distance. So with his leg here, I can't do that. So all I'm going to do is grab my hand, bring my elbow into the knee, pull it in and out, spreading his leg here. As I do that, I'm going to cuff his hip. And I can either cuff the bicep, the shoulder, or set a collar. That's a preferential thing. I will generally just cuff right in that bicep shoulder area, just because I like the control there and the knee. Right now. Uh, 
fire. Like, some people are going to hold that half part.
far side arm in. We're going to step our leg back and fall to this near side hip. Now, once we're here, I'm going to throw my hips away and push his knee. As I'm here, I'm going to pull my knee out and come in the side. to this hip. The leg that is trapped, you sit on that hip. Now, once I'm here, Riley's going to start driving him into me. I have to fight, keeping that shoulder pressure in his neck, my hands on his feet. As he starts to drive into me, I keep this back leg posted, get my foot to come up. <laughs> of all people. <laughs> all right, questions on that. White belts, questions on that. We'll walk through it one more time, but questions? All right, I'm here. Boom, Riley reaches up. Grab that armpit. For some of you, you will grab up here. I always found the armpit to be a more secure grip. Back step. Hold my hip. Get this foot in the back. Grab that thing. Get that foot out. Come back up. Questions on that? Do, do it necessary. Blue belts and up. Boom, I get here. You're all gonna see it. He starts to come up to that under I don't appreciate that. Back step. Find the feet. So, you have a couple different options. Blue belts is gonna be on you. What you guys like. You can back step in. Come into ankles. Or you can back step into like a true spin. <laughs> Sit here. Start No, that's still real. So, IBJJF, you can't do that. Ego, grappling industries, all the other ones, you're fine. Literally just IBJJF. All right, so I'm here. Riley gets this, and I'm feeling fancy. It happens sometimes. I clear this knee. And I don't know where I want to go yet. So all I'm going to do, widen my outside leg as far as my unstretchy hips will allow. My inside hand is going to reach through my legs and my head's following. As I come up, I keep my heel down, boom, find his back. That's what we call left up. I've been hitting this since blue belt, guys. This is, it, it looks super complex. It's our forward roll looking for his back. For all you guys who are like, man, why do we do all these stupid ass rolls?
track drill, do what you need to do. Like I said, I teach about three fancy things. This is one. Questions on this? I'm gonna walk through it like three or four more times. But questions in the initial. So I'm here. Reach to tickle your own feet. I don't know what weird way you want me to explain that. 